I am your host, Asa Kane. In this episode, we're going to show you the world's first crypto first-person shooter game ever. It is called Undead Blocks. Now, before we unveil this to you, make sure that you hit the like button, which is the thumbs up icon that you see directly beneath the video in the middle. What it does, it helps to share this video with others like yourself who want to stay in touch with what's going on and on top of cutting edge information. Also, if you haven't already, make sure you hit the subscribe button, which is our icon that you see in the lower right hand corner of your video. It ensures that you don't miss out on any of our upcoming episodes. Now, this first article that I'm going to share with you is from Decrypt.com, and it was published this morning, actually, by Kate Irwin. And it says, ex-Goldman Sachs analyst releases kill-to-earn zombie game, Undead Blocks on Immutable X. If you saw our last video on Immutable X, you understand how this all comes together. Build, and if you haven't seen it yet, you can do so right here. Build as Mario Kart meets Call of Duty, Undead Blocks is a cross-platform shoot-em-up game with guns as NFTs. Mm. Let's look here. Now, this is an image of the game here. Play to earn might be dead, but kill to earn is undead. Ragu Games executive director Grant Hawsley wants his studio's first game, Undead Blocks, to be easy to play addicting and a fun way to troll your friends the first person shooter game is launching on immutable x an ethereum compatible layer one blockchain that's already home to gamestop's nft marketplace and games like tiny colony our game isn't for pros hostly told the crypt instead describing his title as a kill to earn social game that's like mario Cart meets COD zombies. In Undead Blocks, players shoot zombies and collect various items and rewards generated on the battlefield, allowing players to. The title is already cross platform, meaning that you can play it on PC or Mac with browser support available and mobile cloud games coming soon. Now, he designed the game with casual players in mind. Aim does matter, headshots kill zombies faster and the best players will also have to develop a strategy for hurting and butchering the slow-moving masses of undead, whether it's by leading them into a room where you'll meet them with a shotgun or running across the map while you reload and snipe them from afar. The game is also designed to be played with friends in multiplayer mode and offers plenty of competitive challenges for solo players as well. Now, how do players kill and earn? Hawsley explained that players can earn Z-Bucks, the game's token, and redeem it for Ethereum or Immutable X's IMX token. To name a few Z-Bucks can be traded on Uniswap. It can be used to buy in-game weapons and character cosmetics. Players will also be able to acquire and stake or lock up the game's undead token, a governor's token which can reward holders with more Z-Bucks or NFTs. Now this right here is an image of the game. Look here. Unlike many other blockchain game developers who come from a traditional games industry background, Hawsley comes from the world of traditional finance. Earlier in his career, he worked as a securities lending analyst at Goldman Sachs and also worked at the Bank of Hope and m and Bank before deciding to start his own gaming company. He said that his goals with Undead Blocks was to create a game that anyone would want to play. If they're into the zombie niche, he doesn't see a lot of other Web3 games getting traction or users right now, and he believes because they're not fun. The game's earning model is sustainable, Hawsley argued, because players only earn tokens if the game itself is making money, which will primarily be through the sale of in game assets, guns, and loot coffins as NFTs. While Undead Blocks is still in beta, it already held a $150,000 tournament for over 7,500 players and has roughly 2,500 daily active users and over 100,000 players have tried the game. Undead Blocks is exactly the right combination of innovative tech and approachable, inclusive gameplay posted to give a massive push to the adoption of Web3 Gaming and 
without further ado, here's the game, Undead Blocks. Now, I'm going to leave a link to this in the description. You can see here, you've got the tokens, you've got the staking pools, you've got weapons, you've got the white paper where you can read all about it. And then you've got the characters here. you got your main character in the front. you got the girl. you got the guy's right-hand guy or two right-hand guys. you got all that here. Now let's go down here and look a little more. Defend yourself against the horde. Play with friends and participate in tournaments to earn Z-Bucks. So you can earn tournaments, earn money by playing in tournaments which can be used to collect rare weapon and character skins. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. They're in the neighborhood in the cul-de-sac. Look at them. Wow. And then there's the femme fatale here. Collect and upgrade your weapons. Equip your player with powerful weapon NFTs and upgrade them to increase damage. And then look, you can change the colors of the weapons, put designs on them. Survive with friends. Bring the squad together and jump into endless waves of undead zombies. Choose to play with random players or your closest allies. Oh, and then this too, look. Forget about keyboards, you can use your favorite controllers. Like me, I have Xbox controllers. I play Madden online, for those of you that don't know. Um, that's another conversation, but here. Stake undead for weapon NFTs. We're burning console quality to crypto this is the team that developed the game right here that we're looking at and i i'm having the thought that we're going to be talking about this again very soon look amoka brands one of the big gaming designers as well they're all in support and working in concert and then right here we can see the road map again i'm going to leave a link in the description to this all right i myself since I'm doing this video, I may not get a chance to play tonight, but I definitely will in the next day or so. For those of you that are fortunate enough to get a chance to see this video right as the game is being released, I hope that you make the most of it. Now, right here, we can see that the staking pools are currently not yet available. They're going to be available any day now. Now, look, they've already got the rates up here. Six months, you stake for six months, that's the rookie pool. It shows you your APY, which is 30%. Wow. Lock for nine months, the 50% APY, that's the commander pool. And then the third one, uh, you can lock for a year with a 90, and you earn a 90% APY. Wow. And this is all getting ready to come out here within the next several weeks. This is, this is amazing. Now, and this is just amazing. Now, in addition to this, you definitely, you can use our links in the description to get some free crypto if you haven't already by signing up with crypto.com and Coinbase. In addition to this, you gotta protect what you have. The only way to do so is to get your own cold storage wallet. Now, Ledger is one of the leading worldwide manufacturers of crypto cold storage wallets. They're based in Paris, France, but they ship all over the world, worldwide, no matter where you are. Based, what you do is you take your crypto off of whatever exchange you have it on, whether it's crypto.com or Coinbase or KuCoin. You take it off there, you put it on your wallet. It's the only way you can have control of your crypto and control of your money. And now you can even put your NFTs on there. I mean, this is amazing. Now, if this video has been of value to you, you can contribute to Crypto Kernels with any ERC20 token at our address in the description. Also, make sure you check out our other 92 videos in our library. Until next time, get in there and make it happen.